Hi, I'm Karthik from WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a subdomain to your WordPress website and install WordPress on your subdomain or even install WooCommerce on your subdomain. It's so much fun. Let's get into the tutorial. Now, I'll show it on Cloudways Hosting, which is the best managed hosting solution for WordPress. If you want to learn how to install your website on your root domain, check out the link in the description. Assuming you have your server up and running with your root domain, this is how it goes. So go to your server where you have your root domain and on this ellipsis button, click on it and click on add application. Just choose application and just pick the software that you want to install on your subdomain. We're going to do WordPress first. Let's give it a name. Let's call our application services digital algo and I'll use services as my subdomain prefix. Now here are some subdomain examples for those of you who don't know. Fonts.google.com is a subdomain that just hosts fonts. Similarly for Adobe they have fonts.adobe.com which is another subdomain that has all sorts of fonts and all that stuff. They have color.adobe.com subdomain. So subdomain structure will be something like this. And for Envato, they also have something like elements.envato.com. We'll do services.rdomain.extension. I'm going to demonstrate it with my website. Just pick your project and click on application. Now, once the application is ready, it's similar to how you do it on root level server. So I'll resume the tutorial once the application is ready. Now, just like that, an application is added to the server. So our subdomain is also a part of the server now. And when you hover over this button, you'll see digital algo website and services digital algo. So all we need to do is to actually click on this or you can go to applications, click on services digital algo, and it gives you all sorts of access details and all that stuff. Now, what I want to do, so once you're in within your subdomain, now just give your own name to it, like depending on the subdomain you want, you can do something like staging.yourdomain.extension and whatever. I'll click on domain management. Right now, we don't have the subdomain. So click on add domain. Now this is important. Just type the name of the subdomain. So it's services dot digital algorithm dot com. So this is what you should type. I mean, whatever subdomain dot your domain dot extension. In my case, it's services dot digital algorithm dot com. So I'll click on add domain. And to this application, that domain will be added. Just like that, this domain is added. Now you need to right click on this and click on make primary. Click on set as primary. And that will make the subdomain the primary domain for this application or newly installed application, which is again another WordPress site. Subdomains are basically separate websites. They only share the root level domain, but Google also treats them as separate websites. So in this case, my services.digitalalgorithm.com will be treated as a new website by Google. And you use subdomains to separate basically different functions. We can also do store.digitalalgorithm.com, which we'll do in a bit. So I'll wait for the updation to complete and resume the tutorial. Okay, now my services subdomain is made as the primary domain and you can see that in here. Now, all we need to do is go to the domain registrar where you got this domain from. I just got it from Namecheap. And if you got it from some other registrar, just go to that registrar, log in, go to the domains list. And this is the domain. Click on manage. Click on advanced DNS. And we just need to add our one more record. So you see this add new record button, click on it, choose a record and under host, just type 
your subdomain name or extension mine is services and ip address it's basically the same as your server since we're adding it to the same server but you can click on access details to cross check that scroll the way down you see the ip address of the server click on this come back and just paste it which is essentially the same as these two records because they were added for our root level domain we're adding our subdomain to the same server basically but we're treating it as a separate website so i'll check this box once you add that check this box and that record will be added and maybe wait for five to ten minutes and your name servers will be propagated and you can also check that using this watchmydns.net let's type our subdomain it's services.digitalalgorithm.com and it's a type record click on search should take roughly around five to ten minutes once the propagation is completed i'll resume the tutorial how do you know how the propagation is completed well you'll see all the green check marks here instead of the red check marks or red crosses you'll see all green check marks so i'll wait for it and resume the tutorial and by the way this is the brand new interface in cloudways now a quick recap we went to the servers we went to the server where our root website or root domain was installed we clicked on this button and added an application and we chose wordpress as the platform and once the application was installed we also gave it a name we went to domain management and added our subdomain prefix along with the complete domain so it must look something like this your subdomain dot domain dot extension once we did that we went to the name cheap website which is the domain registrar well you just go to the place where you got your domain from and add this a record and value should be the extension of your subdomain and point it to your ip address of the server which in case you forgot you can get it from access details basically it's the same for your root domain and also for the subdomain that we're installing so from this you can get the public ip address and we did that now most of the name servers are in green check and it also shows the ip address of our server so not a problem we have one more job left which is to issue an ssl certificate so again under server you have to make sure you're in services or whatever subdomain website you are in click on ssl management give your email address enter the subdomain which is services dot digital so you have to enter the complete address like this so your subdomain dot domain dot extension and you have to do this if you didn't apply wildcard while you installed the root domain most of you i think wouldn't have done it so we are issuing an ssl certificate to our subdomain click on install certificate and it will take a while again the name server propagation may take around 20 to 30 minutes when you have most of the green check marks you can proceed with it and ssl certificate would take around two to five minutes i'll resume the tutorial once the certificate is successfully installed if the success certificate is not installed properly that means you may have to wait for your name server propagation for a little more time but let's see what happens i'll resume it once it's successful now the ssl certificate has finished installing on our subdomain now congratulations our subdomain is ready you can click on access details and when you click on this link well you have a blank wordpress install subdomains as i said earlier behave like completely different websites right so your domain is separate your subdomain is separate and if you want to log into your subdomain well just a similar way you do with your root domain services dot whatever forward slash wp hyphen admin you click that you'll be taken to wp admin screen and this is the username and this is the password i've copied username and password from the access details under this application if you forget your password you can click on this pencil icon to simply re-edit the password and that becomes your new password 
with this being your username it's that simple okay i'll click on login i'll do never for this website for now and there we have it a fresh wordpress install now you can go ahead and build it with elementor you can check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist and do all that stuff in a similar way let's also add another application and whenever you add multiple applications to a server just remember that it's actually taking the resources from the server so you better scale your server to handle multiple applications at least like 4 gigs of ram or something like that and if needed also upgrade the storage by using block storage as you can see this has 2 gigs of ram like 5 subdomains or something at least have like 6 gigs of ram or something like that now i'll click on add application and this time i'll pick woocommerce directly woocommerce with wordpress or whatever i'll click woocommerce and that is recommended and it also shows that at least 4 gigs of ram is required for production websites anyway i'll call it digital algo store let's keep it in my website folder click on add application again scale your server whenever you are adding multiple applications and by the way this is the new interface it will take a while and i'll repeat the steps except now i'll be adding a store a record to our server so let's actually go ahead and do that or let's call it shop and let's copy this up and paste it i'll click on this so our next subdomain for our store will be shop.digitalalgorithm.com you can also do like store dot whatever your domain dot extension so i'll repeat this process and show you the final product i think that's better we are just adding the woocommerce application and you can also click on application and right now we have two and the third one being created so i'll wait for it and show you quickly so in like three minutes my second application or third application was installed it's actually a store you can click on this and click here or you can actually go to applications and you can see my woocommerce store again we'll use the subdomain of shop you can also do store whatever you like just put that extension first in your domain registrar i did shop let's do shop because shop is fun click on domain management again within your application that you just made for shop click on add domain and just say shop dot your domain dot extension make sure the spelling is correct and just click on add domain so we'll add domain to this we'll make this primary so whenever that is typed this server will be accessed or this application will be triggered with that IP address or with that domain extension and finally we also need to do SSL certificate again for the store if you want you can do a wildcard so whenever you create a new subdomain SSL certificate is automatically applied you just need to add a text or TXT record into your uh, domain registrar but anyway we'll just wait for the additional domain or this domain to be added now it took a while for this to be added sometimes it may also fail you have to try adding the subdomain again again for our woocommerce application it's shop dot this we've already changed the a record in here so not an issue now i can simply right click on this make primary domain again this may take some time i'll wait for it to complete and finally now whenever an operation is going on just don't click on any other menu item here that would uh, cancel the operation so just wait patiently just leave it and let it take its own sweet time now basically we installed woocommerce on this third application or the application we chose was woocommerce now my primary domain is also updated and i feel this cloudways new interface is a bit buggy at the moment but anyway I'll click on SSL certificate again it's shop sorry first you have to enter your email address and enter the domain name which is shop.digitalalgorithm.com make sure it's spelled correctly 
click on install certificate and once the SSL certificate is installed our subdomain with our shop should be ready I'll resume this tutorial whenever this is completed okay the SSL certificate has been issued leave everything at the default click on access details and you can access it or view your shop by clicking that this is our WooCommerce shop website or shop subdomain and if you want to log in again use wp-admin or click on this link and use the credentials from here to log in to your WooCommerce store and make all the changes now if you want to learn everything about designing a WooCommerce store from the scratch I'll leave a link to another tutorial in the description where I teach you how to do everything from the scratch with Elementor your cart page your checkout page you can basically design everything without writing a code I already made a tutorial that will be in the description so uh, that's how you install multiple domains and the same process actually applies to multiple websites as well you can go to your server click on vertical scaling and increase the capacity to maybe 8 gigs or something like that so that it can properly handle all this but since this is a demo I'm not gonna do any of that but yeah that's how you add subdomains and subdomains are basically separate websites that behave independent of your uh, root domain and they're quite useful to separate maybe your store from your core website or maybe you want to have a support uh, subdomain you can have that totally up to you let me know what you guys think and it's similar for non cloud based servers as well only there you have to just go to domains click on subdomain add a subdomain and do wordpress one click install on those subdomains but anyway that's it for uh, this tutorial check out the description for other tutorials that i talked about and check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel and i'll see you in the next one peace